walk you through it and then let you come and look and Janet will be here and I'll be here and you can ask us any question you have and if we know the answer, we'll tell you. The, the very first thing, and you all know that, that Porgy and Bess was first something called Porgy. Yeah. It was a novel. Yeah. It was by DuBose Hayward. Yes. And he and his wife turned it into a play. And then he turned the play into a libretto. And this stack of typewritten papers here is his typewritten libretto that he then sent to George and... George and Ira worked on turning DuBose Hayward's ideas into the songs and the score. And when, what you'll see on this very first page is DuBose Hayward's original lyric for Summertime. And it goes, you know, summertime and the living's easy, fish are jumping and the cotton's high. Oh, your daddy's rich child and your ma's good looking. Well, George decided that the child, the child wasn't making the phrase go how he wanted it to. So you can see his handwriting here on this page switching things around. In the second verse, one of these mornings you're going to rise up singing, then you'll spread, spread your wings. wings. Well, DuBose Hayward wrote, then you'll open your wings, child, and you'll take the sky. <laughs> but spread your wings is maybe a stronger thing or it's one syllable you know, who knows why exactly. But that's what you'll see there. Then you'll see a picture of a set design. And we thought all along that this was DuBose Hayward's idea for what the set design ought to look like. But it's not. It was DuBose Hayward's recollection of what the set design looked like when the play first went up in New York. And here is a photograph of the original production that shows almost exactly what he remembered. Now, this is the short score. This is in George's handwriting. It's got all the vocal parts and the accompaniment sort of condensed onto two or three lines. It's not really piano playable, but it sort of looks that way. And this is open to summertime. So this is the first full incarnation coming from that. This is the orchestral score for the opera. George did the entire orchestration of the thing. The short score is four volumes this size. The orchestration is three volumes this size, about 600 pages. It took George Gershwin 11 months to write the short score, all the tunes, all the setting all the words and everything, nine months more to do the orchestration. So he spent almost two years of his life on this. Uh, photographs here, Ruby Elsie, who's original Serena, John W. Bubbles, who was original Sport in Life. Yes. 